today we will discuss introduction to analytical chemistry my name is dr alam zeb i am a professor at the department of biochemistry university of malakan uh, pakistan and this is uh, uh, our course of the analytical chemistry uh, first we need to know what is uh, the definition uh, there are uh, several definitions. Uh, the first one is from the ACS analytical chemistry, uh, which says that analytical chemistry is the science of obtaining, processing, and communicating information about the composition and structure of matter. Uh, we can also simply define uh, analytical chemistry as the study and uses of instrument uh, methods used. Uh, to separate, identify, and quantify matter. Uh, in a conference at the Federation of European uh, Chemical Society in 1992, uh, uh, analytical chemistry was defined uh, like uh, analytical chemistry provides the method uh, and tools needed for insight into material world uh, and we need to answer uh, four questions in analytical chemistry what where how much what arrangement uh, structure and uh, forms simply uh, we uh, can say that we study the measurement and process in analytical chemistry uh, in this process, we study qualitative aspects of uh, in a, uh, matter and quantitative aspects of the matter, which may be either solid, liquid, or gas in nature. Uh, here uh, is a simplest presentation of the um, qu uh, qualitative quantitative aspects. Uh, one person is eating a lot of food. Um, so he is uh, um, uh, looking to the quantity of the food while the second one is looking to the quantity of food so he need he does not need too much uh, food but rather a quality uh, uh, quality of the food and there are steps in the measurement uh, processes um, these include uh, sampling uh, and sample preparation, uh, preservation, and then sample uh, preparation, and the final step is usually uh, analysis. So here in this graph you can see we go in this way from sampling to preservation, then preparation, and then uh, analysis. Each of these steps are usually composed of one or more uh, sub-steps. Uh, even an explicitly defined uh, analysis can be uh, approached in more than uh, one way. Uh, so different analytical studies uh, may have different uh, purposes. Um, the final part is the uh, analysis, uh, which is very important for uh, analytical chemist. In this case, uh, we study qualitative uh, analysis include uh, qualitative analysis or quantitative uh, analysis or a third one is also uh, uh, present a type of analysis. We call it uh, semi-qualitative uh, analysis. For example, we studied uh, some uh, material in blood etc uh, what are the typical job function of an analytical chemist an analytical chemist may conduct uh, basic laboratory uh, research um, he can he or she will have to perform process in development uh, product uh, development and designing instrument use in analytical uh, chemistry or analysis um, he may teach he or she may teach or work in marketing or uh, last section uh, 
Um, typical job function includes um, performing uh, qualitative uh, and quantitative uh, analysis, a sampling, uh, defining, isolating, concentrating, and preserving samples, uh, setting uh, error limits in analysis, validating and verifying uh, results through uh, calibration and standard standardization procedures. Mm, he or she may perform uh, separation based on uh, differential uh, chemical properties. Uh, he or she may be creating new ways to make uh, measurement easy, uh, inter he or interpreting data in proper context, uh, communicating results in conclusion to other uh, scientists in the world. Mm, now, what are the applications of analytical chemistry? Uh, there are several applications of uh, this chemistry uh, branch of chemistry. Uh, analytical chemists often work in service uh, related jobs and or uh, employed in industry, um, academia, like uh, in colleges and universities, and also in the government sectors. Um, the first application is in medicine. Analytical uh, chemistry is the basis for uh, clinical uh, laboratory tests uh, which help uh, physicians diagnose a specific disease or disease and its uh, treatment. Uh, so in medicine the clinical uh, chemistry is the base uh, for medicine and Similarly, the next application is in pharmacy. Analytical chemistry provide basis for drug analysis, structure and properties. It is the basis of pharmaceutical uh, chemistry that pharmacists usually study and uh, in we study medicine of different type of medicine their structure and properties third application is in food science the nutritional value of food is determined by chemical analysis analysis of major or minor components such as uh, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids, etc. Food energy is obtained using chemical analysis. Uh, next is environmental science. Uh, in this uh, Science, 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 we study chemical analysis of environment and its composition, uh, the study of contaminants, pollution and safety aspects of environment. So the in environmental science, the environmental chemistry is what analytical chemistry is. The next application is uh, in industry. Uh, in industry, analytical chemistry provides 
the means of testing raw materials and for assuring the quality of the finished product that we obtain in the industry so it is um, analytical chemistry is usually used in nearly all industries Uh, the sixth uh, application of uh, biochemistry is um, analytical chemistry is in the field of biochemistry. Uh, it is very important that the knowledge of analytical chemistry uh, is essential for a biochemist to deal with all analytical uh, studies or analytical required for uh, biological systems. Analytical chemistry is also uh, contributing uh, to the other field of science. Uh, these include forensics, um, archaeology, uh, geology, uh, commerce, and uh, space science. These are also an important field.